What is going on there? <laughs> I don't look like that. Do I look like that? <laughs> This year we've seen an explosion in different AI products. Things like ChatGPT for text, we've seen AI voice simulators. A few companies though are selling AI headshots. The idea is you take a few photos on your phone, upload them to the cloud, and then with AI magic, you get a whole host of different AI generated headshots. These are hilarious. <laughs> We're gonna take a look and see if we can update my LinkedIn profile with one of these headshots and compare it to photos that my producer took. Let's try it out. Okay, so the, they offer three different prices. There's a $29 version, $39 version, $69 version. We're going for the $39 version and you get 120 headshots in three different styles. The credit card number is, wait, should we say that on camera or? So there's a few different options now. You can select outdoors or indoors. You can select where the photo is being taken. So there's a park, a building woods, and then you can select the clothing. We're gonna go with uh, with a polo. Nice, classy, professional, not too professional. So it says on the site that it recommends using a professional camera to take your pictures, which you'll upload, which is a bit ironic because if you have a professional camera, you could just take professional photos of yourself. We're actually just gonna do it with an iPhone. And we're gonna see if iPhone selfie pics can do the trick. All right, let's upload these photos. We just gotta notice that the photos are ready. I haven't seen them yet. Here are my AI generated headshots. Whoa, that looks like me, but mega jacked. I do not have that chest, wow. And here's that necklace it gave me, a little necklace. Okay, so we're looking at them in a, in a grid, right? Which means that they're not close up. And that looks perfect in that size. When I click on it, you can start to see that there is some kind of computer generated funny stuff going on. Like it's, it's too smooth, it just doesn't feel Totally right. Okay, all right. We found our first weird one. <laughs> My AI avatar was having a rough night when this photo was uh, taken in AI land. If I was gonna hire someone and I saw this photo, I would not hire them. I didn't even have to hit rock bottom. AI gets to show me what it looks like, so that's, that's pretty good. If it's the mother test, would it fool your mom? That could pass the mother test. What should I say, just got this headshot taken, what do you think? That doesn't look like me. <laughs> I don't look like that. Yeah, this is me as Salt Bay, as an Italian Salt Bay. My sister responded, you look handsome, but it's pretty squinty. And my brother said, think the hair is just a little off, put that in the next prompt. Yeah, he. <laughs> so here are the photos that my producer, John G, took. So these are real photos captured by a real camera. Let's see how they compare to the AI photos cooked up by some cloud computing servers somewhere. This is the one that I sent my mom. Expression-wise, I mean, that, that is me. Compare here, we can look at some of the more real photos. There's kind of a more pensive look. My hairline's a little different. It's gonna be blue eyes in the AI one, which, brown. One of the issues with these AI photos is that they're like too realistic. There's like this kind of hyper-realism to it. And it's, it's hard to even describe, but it's, it's kind of those things that's like, once you see it, you know it. So on LinkedIn, your photo is small, right? And the smaller the photo is, the easier it is for it to go undetected by a human eye. In LinkedIn, the photo's small, right? Like you might be able to get away with it, but I'm not gonna do it. So we went with the real photo taken by a real camera, but everybody might not have access to that. So if you just have your iPhone and you wanna take some pictures and put them in the AI machine, know that the photos could work, right? If someone doesn't take too close a look, you might be able to get away with it.